At least your mom is getting laif. I posted this somewhere else before, but I think it fits here. It's a bit of a long one, so buckle up. First, some backstory. So I had this bully for most of my school career, from elementary to high school graduation, though it really took around junior high. This jackass, let's call him Humphrey cause it sounds funny, was one of the worst kids in school. He would pick on people, steal from lockers, and go around sexually assaulting guys. Yes, guys. Humphrey was gay, and used that to get out of any situation where people tried to fight back. He would just start yelling stuff like you can't treat me like that just because I'm gay. At the top of his lungs anytime anyone tried to call him out on anything. Given that this was the early 2000s, anything that was seen as gay bashing meant that the teachers instantly got onto the assumed guilty kid. Now, I was a quiet and artsy kind of kid in high school, and liked to draw stuff. More than once, he tried to get me to draw him gay p-iron, and I'm sad to say I did on a few occasions to shut him up. He would then show it off to his boyfriend saying he drew it. The boyfriend was almost as big an ass as Humphrey, so he would always laugh it up when he saw the bullying going down. But the thing that made me forever hate Humphrey was the time he stole my clothes when I was changing after gym, tossed them up onto the school roof, then shoved me into the girls' locker room in my underwear. Though this didn't turn out so bad, since most of the girls were fully clothed and they could hear Humphrey laughing his ass off. So, after graduation, I moved out of state and thought I'd never have to deal with Humphrey again. But, the house I was renting with some friends ended up burning down after four years, so I had to move back in with my parents for a while. I eventually got a job as a driver for a food delivery app, which I absolutely love cause I like driving around by myself and listening to the radio. One of my regular customers ended up being Humphrey's mother, and I would see her maybe three or four times a week. This meant that I got to know her pretty well, to the point I would occasionally help her with stuff around the house if my shift was almost over. I know where you think this is going, but you're wrong and this is what finally lead me to. The revenge. One day, I was delivering to Humphrey's mom's house and the doe canoe himself answered the door. And he hadn't changed at all except he was loosing his hair a bit. His mom, not noticing he was being an ass, invited me in for a bit. Since my shift was almost over, and I didn't want to stay anywhere near Humphrey, I was going to say no. But, she got out that she needed help setting up something on her computer, and apparently her son was useless with them. It turned out, what she wanted help with was setting up an account for an online dating service. Her husband had been dead for 10 years and she wanted to start looking for some fun. Not a relationship, just an ongoing fling. I helped her set it up, talking a bit louder than normal about all the things she could add to attract men, which made Humphrey cringe. But the best part was, as I was helping her, I found something that made the little devil on my shoulder start laughing his tiny red ass off. The school bully's old boyfriend, was on the site looking for men and women to have discreet meetings with. When the mother went to the bathroom, I sent him a request including sexy photos and the promise of a sure thing. Well, a few weeks later, as I'm delivering her usual order, I notice that there's a strange car in the driveway. And who should I see walking around buck naked when she cracked the door to grab her food? The ex, in all his glory. I was tempted to ask if I could come and join in, since I'm by, but my shift had just started. Later, I heard from her that Humphrey had come over unexpectedly later that day, claiming that she had sent him a text saying she needed help with her car. The ex was still there, and they had been entangled on the living room couch when Humphrey came in, 
so he got one hell of an eyeful. She said she had never sent any text, and they ended up screaming at each other before he stormed out vowing to never come there again. I wonder who could have sent him the text. Tilda, oh yeah it was me dot tilda. From what I've heard, Humphrey got arrested that same night for getting totally wasted and breaking into his ex's old house, which he hasn't lived in for years. Just a cherry on top as far as I'm concerned. Edit, as of yesterday, I have succeeded in nailing the mom in a tea resum with the ex. Also, she is now almost certain she is pregnant with the ex's baby. We'll update if we know for sure. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, if any other Delhi every person came and she answered the door what would their first thoughts be lol? Op answer, probably same as me. Lucky asshole though in my case I would be talking about her, and most other guys would be talking about the guy. Redditor 2, why not do it yourself though? Op answer, 1 I'm not attracted to the mom. 2 if I did, then there was a chance Humphrey would try to kick my ass. 3 I could lose my job if HR thought I was getting laid on company time, and I know that rumor would spread like wildfire. Redditor 3. I wonder who could have sent him the text. Tilda, oh yeah it was me dot tilda. It was Walpole. Story 2, hookers, crime, and threesomes. Alright so wife and I hire e-courts for threesomes we like to stay regular with the same woman so for a year we saw this e-court named Peach not really, but sounds good, right. We'd pay her a few hundred, once a month, for a few hours of her service we moved away for a few years, but I would come back to hometown for visits during one of these visits, without my wife, I had the thirst, so I figured I'd call Peach up and reacquaint myself minor detail, this was after the financial collapse, so, for those that don't know hookonomics, the market was flooded with women selling their goods, and the price had dropped well, Peach wanted to stand firm on her pre-collapse rate I balked. A bit of negotiating ensued, and Peach, very reluctantly, agreed on $80 for the hour this was also to be an in-call her place, which I'd never done before, and was very nervous about, but I knew her, so I digress I arrive, walk in, pay peach agreed rate, and after some conversation, she says she has no seendoms that's like a carpenter showing up for work without a hammer, right. She says we can walk to corner convenience store and purchase some I thought it odd, but money was paid, and I was committed at this point we stand up, I walk through her door, and hear it slam behind me, with the very audible deadbolt snip I am now standing outside, alone, processing what has is happening I did what any alpha, bad boy would do I quietly knocked so, yay, we can all put two and two together I go home with my deflated, floppy, and flaccid ego in tow I tell no one fast forward two weeks my wife arrives and wants to seek peach out I inwardly cringe, as I try to persuade her to seek a different type of seafood but, alas, her thirst is strong, and she demands Peach I call Peach Peach is extremely apologetic, and realized she'd made a mistake after I left I immediately respond that she can correct this mistake, and I will meet her so she can pay me back we must have had a bad connection, because I kept getting met with silence. Or the conversation continuing on as if that suggestion wasn't heard when I spoke of wife being in town, and wanting to see her, the connection got better and we were able to start negotiating I informed Peach that wife had no idea, and that I'd pay her $400, minus the $80, and I wouldn't pay her until after all was done she said absolutely not, and was completely offended I would demand those terms my bad. After I tell her goodbye and hang up on her, I'm immediately called back, and all my terms are agreed to she arrives, deed done she's paid now the revenge, a week later, Peach calls me and asks if we'd like to see her again dear Fuke. We're already home, out of state, but I quickly google a hotel in a town roughly 100 miles away from hometown, and tell Peach, if she doesn't mind traveling, we'll see her at said hotel she agrees, 
but asks for another $40 to cover traveling costs now, Peach drives a acid bucket of a car probably getting 15 mpg, but let's be generous, and say 20 mpg gas at the time was around $4 a gallon the road to this town was also a toll road, with a $5 toll, each way so let's do the math $40 in gas, $10 in tolls. And a waste of about 5 hours of her time I waited until I got the text from her that night that said she was in the parking lot of the hotel, then I shut my phone off, and went to sleep Peach has never been heard from again by me, and rumor has it that she still haunts that stretch of highway in her acid bucket in my world, she does. Story 3, Mom Cheats and Ruins Whole Family. Background, My Mother Has Cheated in the Past. About 8 years ago, she slept with my friend's stepdad, which completely tore us apart. Not only that, my mom was absolutely best friends with her mother as well. So very backstabby. A couple years later, when I was 13 my mom met this couple. And she absolutely adored them, and was best friends with them. The woman in a relationship, let's call her Jennifer was my mom's new best friend. And I grew to love her, and see her as a second mother. I was so happy that my mom had a best friend that came over all the time since I enjoyed her company very much. But of course, my mom slept with her husband and everything went down the drain again. This is when I discovered my parents had a bit of an open relationship, and slept with other people. This was sickening to 13 year old me. Now this may not sound like cheating, but it grew to be. It wasn't just sleeping with each other, she fell in love with him, and fell out of love with my dad. But instead of divorcing, they stayed together. She promised me she would never do it again, and that they were going to work on their marriage. This whole thing ruined my relationship with my parents, and I had to go to family therapy for a very long time. I grew to almost hate my parents, and resent them. But then I got older, and forgave them for not being perfect. I was happy they were figuring things out, and they gained my trust. Present day, my mom 46 had met a younger couple on Facebook in a corgi page we have a corgi puppy let's call them Matt 26 and Caitlin 26. They had a corgi, and my mom wanted to meet up with fellow corgi owners they agreed to meet up, and everything was good I was a little irked by the fact they were so young, but they began coming over constantly and I of course, grew to like them to be fair, Matt looks a lot older than he does, and acts like it however Katie looks college-ish, which I mention now so it makes sense later anyways. Fast forward and they began coming over at least three times a week with their dog I had no problem with it my mom posts on her snapchat almost every day, and she posted them all the time my friends began to poke fun at it, and I did two things transitioned into my mom taking our corgi, leaving our other dog at home, and not coming home and staying at their house I thought it was weird but gave it the benefit of the doubt I'm gonna skip around to around a week ago my mom went over to their house again. And I was fine but then around 12 am, she came home. With Matt she explained him and Caitlin got into a screaming fight, and he needed to be away from her okay, I thought the next day we went out to lunch with my family my dad's parents and aunt and she brought Matt along which was a bit odd then a couple days later I overheard her asking my dad if he hated her it sounded like she was almost asking for forgiveness, and the pit in my stomach grew she then went outside in the freezing cold to FaceTime Matt. That's when I knew, that's when I knew my dad confirmed my fear, and I sobbed out of pity for my dad I acted like I didn't know towards my mom, but her conscience crept up on her and she told me everything she said that her, Caitlin, and Matt used to have threesomes. And my dad was okay with it, so I didn't know what to think at this point, I was just wishing it was just s time but it's worse, she's in love with him she's in love with him, and not my dad I felt sick Matt lives far away, and she spoke about how he wants to get a house in our school district, and have rooms for me and my brother yes they came over all the time. 
but I barely knew him I felt sick my mom is defending her actions by saying she was unfulfilled in the relationship, she also always defends sleeping with her friends husbands boyfriends by saying their relationship wasn't good for them. Also this time, she berated Caitlin said all these bad things about her, how she was mean in the relationship sure, she might have been but it sounds like my mom is trying to convince herself, she's not at fault a water to be fair, my dad isn't a saint, he slept with people but he explained that he only wanted to do it, because she did and at least he never loved any of them so at this point, I don't know what to do I feel sick all the time, and my dad is falling apart is my mom selfish for this. I don't know this is the third time she backstabbed a woman friend, and had s time with her boyfriend husband my mom is constantly texting Matt now, all the effing time she's calling him, and everything just strutting around the house, and it hurts me I don't know what to do, and I'm trying my best to be mature as I'm typing this, my mom didn't come home last night she's at a hotel with him what the hell do I do, this guy she's in love with is only 10 years older than me. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, so sorry op. Your mother is in the fault here. Not your father and definitely not you. Support your father and tell your mother that this is not okay. Her actions are hurting you and your father and that needs to stop. Advice your father to get help, I see and a lawyer. Keep going to IC if you can and perhaps get some space from your mother. So sorry you are in this but your mother sound narcissistic and you need to try to distance yourself from her. It's so hard to do but try to tell her this and stop communication with her and focus on you and your dad. Do you have any other family you can talk to, on your father's side perhaps? Remember, you have done nothing wrong in this. Redditor 2, yes, your mother is selfish and she seems to have a very toxic relationship with other women that has her enjoy being the better one or the picked. Kind of super insecure and super unempathetic for example. That is awful and I am really sorry for you. Redditor 3, I wouldn't deal with her personally. If she asks why you don't talk to her say that you want nothing to do with a home wrecker and that she needs help and she ain't 25 years old anymore and needs to act like an adult.